I was eight. We lived in this old house, and we it was a duplex, and the two girls in the front, their parents mm -hmm. were my parents' good friends. And as you come into Mama's and Dad's place, there was a little entryway, and there was a large walk-in closet. The two girls came over, and we had Christmas on Christmas Eve, and the, the tree came, you know, and um, my mother and dad went out and did some shopping, you know, for supper that night. And my mother cooked um, what they called glee wine. There was spices in it, mm -hmm. and that was the treat, the, the glee wine to have when you were opening your presents. But, I mean, of course, we didn't get it, but I'd always nag, <laughs> Dad, can I have a taste? <laughs> you know, and mm -hmm. um, that Mama would say, no, that's not for you. Oh, let her have a little taste. They locked me in that closet. <clears throat> So I wouldn't see them decorating. I mean, I could have suffocated in there, except for the crack around the door, and I could peek out, and I kept yelling, Are you done? Whatever you're doing, what are you doing out there, you know? And then when I came out, the tree was all lit and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, here comes Mama. We guess we better let her out. So Dad drove in the yard and everything, and they came in the house, and then they let me out, and the mm -hmm. two girls went home. But I remember the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. and that's all I saw at that time, you know. I never knew there was a, a Santa Claus. I just, um, it, everything was done quietly and calmly, and, you know, there was, I was just so excited. Mm -hmm. And that year, my sister gave me my doll, and that was under the tree. And I wasn't allowed to touch it. I could go in the living room and sit and wait for everybody. Hurry up, hurry up, get done eating, you know. Mm -hmm. and my mother wanted to have everything just so. And, of course. Oh, couldn't <laughs> wait. I always wanted to make sure we had a vacation. Uh, my husband got a lot of vacation time towards the end. He had six weeks. When Mike was 16, he had just gotten his permit, and my husband got so tired, and I didn't drive. And we went with my husband's cousin because she was out visiting for the summer. So we let Mike drive. We went over this large bridge, that largest bridge up there uh, separating Canada. And I didn't dare look down. We got down, oh, she pulled over, and we both got out. None of us were sick, but I thought, oh, my God, if I hadn't gotten off that bridge, I was petrified. Anyway, we got to Niagara Falls, and we got out, and it was thunder and lightning. We wanted the kids to look and see the falls at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, which mm -hmm. is really stupid because it was so black and lightning. I didn't get out. I said, you kids, if you get out, you better get right back in here. So the kids ran around Niagara Falls, and then my son helped Dad drive. We went up the side of the lake and went across this huge bridge. And then we came down, and as we were coming off the bridge, and we had to go up a kind of a mountain area, and when we got to the top of that hill, it was the clouds were so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it was like you could reach up and touch them. It was wow. it was gorgeous, and I thought, oh, how pretty! Thank God we're off that bridge. <laughs> we had done some good things for the kids. I always wanted them to have good memories. My husband would take them up to mow the lawn, supposedly at the Rod and Gun Club, and he took the four wheeler with him. So the kids drove, and oh boy, we're all going with Grandpa. They'd go up there and race all over the place, and. Uh, some of them could be speed demons, you know. I'd invite all of them in for a weekend, and then they, the parents had to pick them up Sunday, so that gave them all a break. My husband had to fit because I had them all laying all over the living room mm -hmm. in sleeping bags. I loved to go over there, and they played cards and games and watch TV, and I made popcorn for them at night, and or they, they could have either or both ice cream stuff and mm -hmm. the kids had fun yeah you know, and um, we'd have a Sunday dinner or we'd have you know I'd make something special for somebody we had an Easter egg hunt for April uh, her um, 
Her birthday was just before Easter, I think. He had plastic eggs all over the place. And mm -hmm. years later, we were finding them <laughs> where we had forgotten or the kids didn't find them, you know. Yeah. And uh, so we did a lot of things up there on the hill. It was a fun time for the kids and for me. My kids have always come first in my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, not next to my husband, of course. Each of them have done something special, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I, I'm just so proud of all of them. Yeah. And I feel like my mother has always been my guiding light. I'll protect my children in the grave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they'll remember things I've said to them.